All right, gang, we're going to create a volume surface. And a volume surface is just uh, two surfaces that are compared together. And it will give you a volume uh, as the statistics. So what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to have to make sure we have uh, all our objects that we need. First of all, I'm going to need two surfaces. I'm going to need a existing ground surface to act as my base surface, which I do. I already have that. I'm going to need a finished ground surface with all my finished ground design in it to compare to my existing ground surface. So what I'm going to do, as you can see here, I've got a corridor detached top surface created. Uh, what I'd like to do is create a copy of my existing ground surface and then paste in the corridor top surface and then I will have a finished ground surface. So to create a copy of my existing ground surface, I'm going to select the surface, right click, Go basic modify tools, copy, hit enter as the displace point. That will use 00, zero as the displace point. I'll hit enter again for 00, zero as the copy or the second point of displacement, and it'll create an exact copy right on top of the uh, existing ground surface. Now, as you can see, I should be able to turn off that existing ground surface, the original surface. Uh, and I will still be able to see this will be my finished ground now you can see there that's my uh, that's my finished ground I'm just going to rename this now to finished ground and uh, there you'll see it uh, on my screen there okay so I've got my two surfaces now all I'm going to do uh, is paste in my corridor top detached surface into my new finished ground surface and then I'll have a finished ground surface so I'm gonna right click on edits inside my finished ground surface go paste surface and I will select corridor top detached say OK and uh, you can see there that the paste is is in there if you ever make a mistake you can always right click and delete and rebuild your surface if you want uh, I should be able to select my surface now and go into the object viewer and if I take a look at it you'll see that it's uh, essentially an exact copy of my existing ground surface I only now I've got my corridor detached pasted in there so now that I've got a finished ground surface which is what you're looking at here and my original existing ground surface I can create a volume surface so to do that I'm just going to right click on surfaces I'm going to create surface I have two tin surfaces so I'm going to want to create a tin volume surface so I select tin volume surface I'm just going to give the, rename this. I'm going to call this uh, volume, and uh, I will have to specify the base surface, which is going to be the existing ground surface, and I will specify the comparison surface, which will be the finished ground, and then I'll say OK, OK. It'll create the new surface for me, and uh, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the uh, the tin lines here. But uh, what I, you know, you can look at it if you want in the object viewer and take a look and see what it looks like. But it this should look essentially exactly the same as the original. But uh, what I am really interested in is my new volume surface I can create. I have created. You can see it's got a new icon there indicating it's a volume surface. And if I right click on it and go into my surface properties, I can go to the statistics tab and check the volume, and I can give it myself a, a net volume. In this case, I have about. Uh, 41,000 uh, cubic meters of cut uh, in this surface as a total. And uh, if I want to dig down a little deeper, perhaps create a uh, cut and fill report, all I have to do is select my surface and bring up the volumes dashboard. So when I pick my surface, it, it brings up a uh, surface uh, ribbon or menu on my ribbon, and I can select the volumes dashboard button and then click my select volume surface button here pick my only volume surface that I have say OK and here it will tell me my uh, total cut and fills on this line here as well it gives me a little graph and uh, proportionately graphs out my cut and my fill in uh, the, the graphic comparison and also on this little uh, uh, toolbar I can select my generate cut and fill report so I will click this button it will uh, go ahead and generate a cut and fill report for me and from here if I wanted to I could uh, go ahead and just uh, print that out to a PDF or to a printer if I liked and that's how you create a volume surface thanks for listening folks bye have a great day